Greetings, Executor. Though we all grieve for the loss of mighty Tassadar, we must find the resolve to carry on. He sacrificed himself to destroy the Overmind, but many Zergs still rage across our ruined homeworld. Without the Conclave to lead us, or the protection of our great fleets, it seems we must fend for ourselves. Eldaris is correct, Executor. As we have both seen, the Zerg will not halt their rampage until every last one of us is dead. I suggest that we retreat to our last functional warp gate, and travel to where the Zerg cannot follow us. With all due respect, Zeratul, the Protoss do not run from their enemies. Ayr is our homeworld. It is here that we shall make our stand. Just as your conclave did. They are dead now, Eldaris. Dead because they allowed their pride to blind their reason. Only if we learn from their mistakes can we live to avenge them. Now, Executor, I know of a place where we can find solace. It is Shakuras, the secret homeworld of my people, the Dark Templar. Your people? We would be seen as tyrants to them. Why would they shelter us? Have I not pledged myself to your cause? Not all beings are as unforgiving as your lamented conclave, Eldaris. You are right, of course. Executor, Zeratul shall find us passage to the warp gate. After the gate has been secured, Phoenix and the new Praetor Artanis shall lead our surviving brethren to Shakuras. Executor, I am Artanis. Though I have only recently been appointed Praetor, you can trust that I will uphold the honor and traditions of the Templar. We shall see. Hey boys, mind if we tag along? I figure heading anywhere has got to be better than staying here with the Zerg. Commander Reno, as ever, your assistance is appreciated. We would be honored if you joined us. You address me. So be it. It will be done. We should destroy these Midas canals so as to stem the flow of Zerg reinforcements through them. Entaro Adun! Your warriors have engaged the enemy! Entaro Adun! There is no time to waste! We must join our brother against the enemy! Warriors 
have engaged the enemy. Entaro Tassadar, Executor. The survivors from Ire have made it safely through the gate. Yet, amidst the chaos of our retreat, we lost contact with Phoenix and Raynor. I fear that they may have been overrun by the Zerg. Fear not, Artemis. Phoenix is as stalwart a warrior as I have ever known, and the Terran Raynor has proven himself to be highly resourceful in the past. I for one believe that they made it here safely. But while we wait for word from them, we must reconnoiter the surrounding area and find a suitable location for a more permanent settlement. Once we're situated, we can begin to search for the Dark Templar. Chorus. They must have taken control of the warp gate on Ire. My life for iron! My life for iron! My life 
sanctity of life. Once we have secured this area, I shall tell you everything I know about them in council. I am sure the Matriarch will be eager to hear your tale as well. Executor, we have received a transmission from Raynor and Phoenix. They are still alive and are fighting to retake the warp gate on Ire. We must secure the gate on the side the without enemy. delay. here on Iyer and shut the gate down on this side. It's the only way to make sure that the Zerg won't send more reinforcements to Shakuras. You will be hopelessly outnumbered, and once the gate is shut down, there will be no one to save you should you be overrun. Yeah, well, I'm a man of action. What can I say? I shall remain with Raider as well, Executor. My duty is to Iyer after all. Farewell then, brave warriors. We will send through all the troops we can spare. Thanks. You kids just remember to play nice from now on, okay? Wish us luck. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. I am Rashagal. Matriarch of the Dark Templar, and I welcome you and your companions to our world. 
Zeratul has informed me of the fall of iron, and I am deeply grieved. I am one of the few Dark Templar old enough to remember our ancestral home with clarity. Yet no matter how tragic the circumstances, it is clear that fortune has reunited our people. We Dark Templar will never forget our banishment from Ayr, nor the Conclave's sins against us. But you and your companions are no longer of the Conclave. The example set by your fallen hero, Tassadar, has shown you that when the light and dark sides of our energies are united, our power is undeniable. But Matriarch, the Zerg who have followed us here are unlike any enemy the Protoss have ever known. You speak the truth, Judicator. And yet, there lies a dormant power here that can help us to scour the Zerg from Shakuras forever. Long ago, we Dark Templar were a nomadic people. But when we found a remarkable monument upon this world, we decided to remain here to study it. We discovered that the enormous structure is actually an ancient Zelnaga temple dedicated to the race that sired us all. The temple is situated above a nexus of powerful cosmic energies. If we were to access those energies... Then we should strike now while the Zerg still muster their forces. Alas, we cannot. In order to properly channel the energies of the temple, we will need the twin crystals, Urash and Kallus, that legends say were separated many ages ago. The Urash is laced with pure Templar energies, while the Kallus is comprised of dark Templar energy. Only by using these two crystals in unison can we hope to channel the potent energies of the temple. Then it is clear that we must retrieve these crystals, wherever they may be. Agreed. But first, we must deal with the Zerg and their two Cerebrates who have already taken up station around the temple itself. To arms, my children. Scour the temple grounds of this foul infestation. Remember, young Templar. Cerebrates can be killed only by Dark Templar weapons and energies. My brethren will make short work of any cerebrate. Executor, our sensors show that the two cerebrates are surrounded by spore colonies. We will deploy our corsairs to compensate for their defenses. I don't know it us. Upgrade complete. 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 Upgr
warriors. Despite what you may think, I haven't come here to fight you. This is laughable. Do you truly expect us to believe that your intentions here are honorable? That these Zerg here are not under your sway? Look, the Cerebrates you've killed were my enemies as well. If you let me explain, I'm sure you'll understand that- You are the enemy of all who live, Kerrigan. What makes you think we would have anything to do with you? Because, Zeratul, I bring news of an event that threatens us all. If you'd be so good as to escort me back to your citadel, I'll tell you everything I know. Very well, Kerrigan. We shall hear what you have to say. But be warned, we will not suffer your treachery here. Now then, Kerrigan. Perhaps you had best explain yourself. What is this news you've come to give? There is a new Overmind growing on Char. What? Impossible. Why should we believe anything you have to say? Because, Zeratul, I'm no longer the mindless murderess whom you fought on Char. The Overmind is dead. Whatever warped control it once had over me is gone. I know that this is a lot to take in all at once, but you've got to believe me. There's more at she stake here She lies. Than... She is infested to the core. I, for one, will not listen to any of this. Silence, Judicator. Continue, Kerrigan. Apparently, many of the renegade Cerebrates, commanded by Dagoth, have merged into a new Overmind. Fortunately, the creature is still in its infant stages. It can't control the swarm yet. But Dagoth and the others still have control over most of the broods. The two Cerebrates you killed here were part of Dagoth's forces. Look, I don't need to tell you all what might happen if that thing reaches maturity. I can guarantee you that should it awaken, it'll take full control of me, just like it did before. I don't want that to happen, and I'm pretty sure you don't want it to happen either. Even if what you say is true, our priority is to save this world, not assault the new Overmind. 
We must find the crystals Urash and Kalis before we are all vanquished. Then I'll help you with your search. If you can defeat the renegade Zerg gathered here, it'll weaken the efforts of Dagath and his ilk. My children, you must put aside your fears and misgivings to accomplish what must be done. For the time being, Kerrigan will assist you in your endeavors. Though she has been your enemy, it is enough that we share the same agenda now. Allow her time enough to prove herself to you, and you may find her to be a valued ally. For now, you must focus on the task at hand. Search for the Urosh on the planet Braxis, and let nothing stop you from recovering it. We will do what you ask, Matriarch. But you cannot expect us to forgive Kerrigan's crimes against our race. Executor, prepare our forces. We shall debark for the planet Braxis before the next moonrise. The warriors have engaged the enemy. I can't say I blame you. Let's just get the job done. Executor, our sensors have just identified a large group of Terran vessels. However, their configuration profile is unlike any Terran group yet encountered. We are receiving a transmission from the fleet's command ship, identifying itself as the Alexander. Protoss Commander, I am Admiral Alexei Stukov of the United Earth Directorate. We are here to take control of the Terran Dominion and all of its outlying colonies. You are in direct violation of Terran space and have openly attacked Terran troops. Lower your shields and power down your weapon systems. The UED will be taking custody of your ships and whatever spoils you have garnered from this planet. United Earth Directorate. Raynar spoke of the distant Terran homeworld called Earth. These humans have come a long way to make war on us. Have faith, Zeratul. You almost sound as if you fear these humans. What are they to such as we? Was it not we who defeated the dreaded Overmind? Yes, I tell us, we did vanquish the Overmind. But we did so with the help of humans. Do not be so quick to underestimate them. Of course. Executor, I shall test the mettle of these humans. By scouting ahead of your ships and finding a way through this blockade. In Toro Tassadar! The 
Yes, Executor. Indeed. Consider it done. State your will. Consider it done. generator destroyed, the missile turrets on this platform are no longer operational. However, we will need reinforcements to finish the job. Reinforcements are en route now, young Templar. Executor, the Urash is secured, and the UED has given up the chase. We are currently holding perimeter orbit over the planet Char. Zeratul, have you locked onto the location of the Kallus? Yes. I remember sensing his power the last time I was on this world. However, our sensors indicate a massive, fluctuating energy signature at its location. I am, however, unable to identify the signature's source. That should be obvious, gentlemen. The source is the Overmind itself. When the Cerebrates merged together, they must have locked onto the Callus energies and nested near it. It's probable that there will be a number of broods protecting that area. It's risky, but if we can strike hard and fast, we might be able to fight our way through their defenses and escape with the crystal. Comrades. I may have an alternative. Seeing as how the Overmind is still in its infant stages, I wonder if we might be able to disrupt its control over those broods. If we can do enough superficial damage to the creature, it might pacify the Zerg nearest to it, allowing us some time to retrieve the Callus. A bold plan, young Artanis. Your courage rivals that of mighty Tazadar himself. You give me too much credit, noble Zeratul. I am not worthy enough to even speak his name. Touching. 
Look, boys, either of these plans will work, but let's not waste any time. I'll be able to exert limited control over a few of the Zerg here and provide you with some backup. But the longer we stay, the more we risk losing both the crystals again. Agreed. Executor, deploy your forces. May Adun be with you. wretched world and return to Shakuras, provided there is still a Shakuras to return to. Congratulations, Executor. Your success has brought us the promise of hope against the Zerg. However, we face a new threat within our own ranks. In your absence, Judicator Alderis and an entire legion of Kali survivors from Ayer have begun an open revolt against us. By the gods, this is ill news indeed. Why would Alderis betray us so? He and his ilk believe that it was wrong to have abandoned Ayer and consorted with our people. Their prejudices have driven them to perpetuate the Conclave's sins against us. Even now, Alderis and his Loyalist Templar forces are preparing to attack our Citadel. I can scarcely believe this. As if the Zerg were not enough. Matriarch, are you certain of this? All too certain, young Templar. Executor, as Matriarch of the Dark Templar and custodian of this world, I hereby order you to terminate Judicator Alderis and quell this untimely uprising without delay. There will be no dissent among us while the Zerg are poised to strike. There's something amiss here. The Matriarch has always been a wise and gentle soul. Though there is some merit in her decision, this is very unlike her. That may well be. But right now, we have a friend to kill. May I don't forgive us. Be advised, Executor. Our forces are divided. Alsderis has taken control of our Templar warriors and arbiters. It is possible that he may even send Archons against us. Fear not, comrades, for we have Archons of our own. Should the dire need arise, all Dark Templar may merge to become Dark Archons. Though we sacrifice our warriors in doing so, only the might of the Dark Archons can match the forces of Aldaris. We hear you, O Maid of the Ways. Julio. So be it. Your warriors have engaged. 
Games Yearly. so easily did you executor you have only destroyed a the warriors have engaged the enemy yet again executor you destroy only a simulacrum of myself you believe me to be a traitor the but warriors you have engaged and the, the enemy. matriarch who will usher our race to oblivion Finished, Judicator. Surrender your remaining forces and join us in eradicating the Zerg. I would sooner die, Dark One, than tarnish the memory of Ayer by joining with you. Your fate was sealed the moment your matriarch allied herself with the Queen of Blades. Those of us still loyal to Ayer will never be slaves to Kerrigan and her broods. How dare us! Be reasonable. Kerrigan has changed. She no longer seeks to enslave anyone. Do not force us to destroy you. You can no longer afford to be so naive, Artanis. While you were securing the crystals, I discovered that your matriarch has been harboring a dark secret. She has been manipulated by- I have no time for this. Don't be so squeamish. Wretched creature. This was our Protoss matter. You had no right to interfere. Be gone from this world. You are no longer welcome among us. Fine. I've done what I came here to do. I've ensured the destruction of the renegade Cerebrates, and I used you to do it. Have fun, mighty Protoss. We'll be seeing each other again real soon. This entire chain of events has been masterminded by Kerrigan, and we played right into her hands. Yes, we did, Artanis. Yet our course is set, nonetheless. Using the Temple's energies against the Renegade Zerg may accomplish Kerrigan's aims, but it is still our only chance of survival. And survive we will, my warriors. For too long have we labored in futile defense, as our enemies push us further and further away from victory. 
The time has come to let loose the full fury of our powers. Never again shall Shakuris be despoiled by the foul touch of alien species. These Zerg shall be the first to fall before us. Matriarch, I have served you for many millennia. I have always valued your wisdom and strength. Yet, lately, in your mind, I have sensed something that clouds your true spirit. Though Kerrigan has gone, I wonder if her treachery still remains. Be at ease, Zeratul. I am still the same Rashagal you have always known. These recent events have weighed heavily upon me, and I am wearied. But fear not. My warrior spirit will shine before you and light your path to victory. Indeed. The time for action is upon us. The crystals must be taken to the temple while the Zerg still muster their forces. I shall carry the Urash myself while Zeratul handles the callus. Executor, you shall provide escort for Artanis and Zeratul as they make their way to the temple. God's willing, we will channel the energies of the Zelnaga and scour this world clean of the Zerg. Go now, my children, and know that the survival of our entire race depends upon your actions. crystals to the temple. The Zerg will surely send all their legions to destroy you. You must be prepared to protect the temple itself from the swarm. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. Entaro Adun. State your will. Indeed. The warriors have engaged the enemy. The Urash is secured. Address me. The callus is secured. Executor, Zeratul and I will begin to channel the temple's energies. You must prevent the Zerg from destroying the temple while we work. Adun be with you, Executor.